Hey guys, I'm here with a quick review of Marvel Final Mation Series 2. This is the, as you can see, Spider-Man specific series. And so we've been able to pick up quite a few of the figures so far. Still missing a couple, Mary Jane, the Rhino, uh, things, uh, Black Cat. But I think we have good enough of a sample here to kind of run through them real quick to give people an idea of what to expect from them. They are still available at D Streets, at least they were yesterday. Still had several cases, so uh, they stocked up pretty well on these, I think better than uh, Marvel Series 1. But Spider-Man, obviously the star of the series. Uh, one thing just to note in general, not super impressed with the ears. I mean, they're fine, but... Uh, a lot of the ears uh, throughout the series are basically the buildings with some sort of webbing or, or, or you know, uh, something else for them. So we'll kind of look at those as we go, but not super impressive. But I got to say, Spider-Man looks really cool. Um, over the weekend at the Imagination Gala, or I guess that was last weekend, actually, they announced a Peter Parker uh, Spider-Man Eaches that has kind of the classic half Spider-Man, half Peter Parker face, which looks awesome. But this is a great figure. looks really cool on the, on the uh, Vinylmation platform. J. Jonah Jameson, um, I think he has my favorite ears of the series, just the newspaper heading there, just fitting, and he just really looks good on the platform as well. I think, uh, you know, the, the figures that they went with, uh, they really work, you know, some of the figures just don't look as great, that new Cinderella series that's coming doesn't look too great to me, uh, Sleeping Beauty's a little hit and miss, things like that, but... These guys, you know, they look great, I think, across the board. They are what they are. Obviously, if you're not a Vinyl Mission fan, you're probably not watching this video anyway. But, uh, you know, the ears and the whole thing, they work. Craven, wish he would have come with a staff or, I mean, a spear, something. It is, seems a little odd that he didn't come with some sort of an accessory here. But I think uh, all the accessory money went into uh, Mysterio and the Green Goblin. We'll get to those in a moment. But... The standard kind of ears, again, just, you know, really a boring use of the ears on most of these. There's not a whole lot going on there. A lot of copy and paste. As we look at the lizard, there's not a huge difference from there. And we've got Venom. Oops. Get to Green Goblin in a bit. We've got Venom. He seems to be a fan favorite so far. Again, he's got the ears very similar to Spider-Man's, just the buildings in them. No webbing this time, though. Uh, the tongue coming out of the mouth. Very cool. Simple design on the back there. Mysterio seems to be everybody's favorite, definitely my favorite. Uh, the ears, now that I do like the uh, the idea of the uh, fog there rising out of that. Obviously the fishbowl element there, and then he has the cape. And so Vinylmations are not known for accessories, so the fact that they gave him two is kind of a big deal. And it's the one that everybody seems to be shaking the box looking for. So definitely the star of the series for me, and I think for a lot of people. That being said, I really love this Electro. And the ears, I mean, pretty simple. I don't know what else we could really expect from there. I would have taken his uh, bolt there and gone ahead and given it to Craven instead of using an accessory over there. But it's fine. I mean, the figure itself, I'm a real sucker for the Starface kind of looking uh, Electro, and I think that looks cool. Would have liked to see maybe you know, the helmet work a little different or the mask a little different, so it could have ri risen off there, but uh, that's a lot to expect out of this platform, not something they're known for. And then we've got Dr. Connors, the lizard himself. He's got the kind of, the venom there dripping through his ears. The tail, would have been nice to see an extension tail on there, not that that's a very common thing as well in Vinylmation, but fun figure nevertheless okay then we come to norman osborne or green goblin so first up we've just got the standard goblin which looks cool it would have been awesome if he got a glider he did not get a glider it'd be cool if somewhere down the line somehow they make that happen with some sort of combo pack or something but to give him that again the standard ears that we've seen across several of these figures with just the building shapes in there it was almost kind of like that was the default uh, go-to on these and then our variant which I can't believe that we were able to pick up the variant because obviously you never expect to get the variant they're such a, a rare uh, item to find but we have Norman Osborn so we've got Green Goblin without his mask and uh, obviously same body same pumpkin bomb and all of that just the Norman Osborn head so quite amazed that we found that because you know again the variants you just are happy if you get one and you never expect to get one of the series that you actually really wanted in or at least I don't so this is the first time we've picked up a variant in a series that we're very excited about and trying to collect all the way around so super excited to get Norman Osborn in our first pull actually so anyway we still got a couple more to pick up 
uh, as I said, looking at the box, we've got Rhino, got Mary Jane. There's also a variant Mary Jane uh, in her more classic outfit, uh, first appearance. And then you've got Black Cat. So some good figures there. I think we'll probably finish out just by trading away. I don't think we're going to be blind boxing any more of them. But really fun series if you're a Spider-Man fan or just a Marvel fan of any kind. So until next time, we'll see you in line somewhere.